Hi everyone and welcome back. In my last video, I showed you how to clone a GitHub repository on the command line. Today, I will show you how to clone a GitHub repository directly into VS Code without using the command line. First, I will show you how to do it for a public repository. And in the second half of the video, I will show you how to do it for your own private repository or a collaborator's private repository, which is just slightly different. So stick around for that. Enjoy. So VS Code has been becoming very popular over the last few years, so you might be interested in cloning GitHub to re uh, repository directly into VS Code instead of on the command line. So I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to show you how to clone a public repository again, just like in the last video on cloning a GitHub repository on the command line. And we're going to clone the exact same one. So I will also show you how to clone your private repository in VS Code later because it's a little bit different, but let's start with a public repository. So again, I'm going to clone Jean Moda's Crew AI repository because it's awesome. So let's click on the repository on github.com. So just find the repository you want to clone and does the repository I want to clone. So again, just like last time, we click on the green button that says code up here. And we're going to use the option HTTPS again for public repository. So this is the URL we want to copy. So we click on a copy URL to clipboard and it's now copied. Now we open VS code and all we have to do here is click on source control on the left. So we click here and there's a button saying clone repository. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to click on that. And here I paste the URL that we just copied, hit enter. And now I have to choose a folder, a destination folder for the rep repository because it's done, going to download it onto my computer. So I am going to use the same folder that I created last time here. It's called test project. It's an empty folder select as repository destination. And down here, you can see how it's downloading. That was very quick. And now I can directly open this repository and there it is. So I have all the code from this repository just as it is on github.com. So now I'm going to show you how to clone your private repository or the repository of a collaborator where you need to link an account, your GitHub account, because not everyone is allowed to clone this repository. So. For that, I'm going to open my own repository. So let's go to my channel. And I created this fake repository just for this purpose. So awesome repo. I'm going to click on it. And again, I'm going to click on the green button that says code. And here you can see there's more options now. There's also the SSH option, which is another option that's a little bit more secure for your private repositories. That's one option. But we're going to use HTTPS again for simplicity. And I am going to, again, copy to clipboard, open VS code and do the same thing again. Source control, clone repository and paste the URL. So careful, it's going to be a little bit different from before. I have to select a destination. I'm going to use the same destination. There's the difference. I have to now allow Visual Studio Code to sign into GitHub. So I'm going to click allow. Here I'm going to authorize Visual Studio Code as an authorized extension on my GitHub account. Authorize. Have to enter my password. And now I can open Visual Studio Code again, and it's going to download here. And now the cloned repository is here. There's nothing in there except the readme file. So importantly, you just signed into your GitHub and linked your Visual Studio Code to your GitHub account. And there's now on your GitHub account, a section where Visual Studio Code is registered as an authorized app. And on the other hand, you are now with your Visual Studio Code linked to that GitHub account. So you can click on the little accounts button down here. And you see there's a GitHub account that is linked. And if you want to unlink, you can just sign out here, sign out. And then maybe you want to clone another repository with a different GitHub account. And that's how you can do it if you want to sign out there. Because in the future, if you clone another repository, it will assume you're in the same uh, GitHub account. So you now know how to clone a GitHub repository directly into VS Code. If you want to learn how to clone a GitHub repo on the command line, check out my video on that. In my next video, I will show you how to create a repository from scratch, clone it into VS Code, and then push changes to GitHub directly from within VS Code. Stay tuned and see you next time.